Now I'm going to tell you a story, a story that we're all familiar with, the Hollywood teen horror story. And what happens in these movies is a formula. Everybody knows it. We've all seen them. And initially, at the beginning of the movie, there's a group of friends. They're all young people, let's say 10 people. And they muster up the courage to go to that scary old house at the end of town. And despite the rumors that strange things happen there, not everybody gets out alive. And despite the warnings of their friends and family that it's very challenging and there's going to be lots of obstacles there, they decide we're going to give it a try. They have the right stuff. They have the right skills, the characteristics. They believe in themselves. They say, we're going to go and we're going to give this a try. So they walk up the steps, go to the creaking door, and at the beginning of the movie, they step inside the door, and we all know what happens next. They go inside. There's yells, there's screams, there's sounds of people helping one another. And there's also, you know the outcome. We all hope that all 10 of them are going to make it out alive. But we know the formula. Not everybody does. And at the end of the movie, one person gets out. Usually a woman. I don't know why, but it's always a woman. They always get out alive. And we, we are happy with that. As an audience, we're happy with that because it's the formula. We're comfortable with the outcome. As long as one person makes it, that's the way it's supposed to be in a Hollywood teen horror movie. Let me go back a couple slides. At the beginning of the year, 10 agents, 10 new recruits join your agency. And they are full of the right stuff. They've, they've been selected. You've talked to their partners. They've gone through aptitude tests. They have done a lot of, uh, a lot of training, licensing. And despite the rumors that not everybody is successful in our industry, and despite the well-meaning warnings of family and friends that is very challenging and not everybody makes it, they decide that they have the right stuff. So they also decide to walk up to the steps of the agency and try their hand at it. So 10 go in. And over the course of the year, there's yells and screams and campaigns and convention and MDRT qualifications. and all the stuff, uh, underwriting, all the things that happen in a year, retirements, people transferring out of your agency because they move and they go to another agency, all the things that happen in a year. And at the end of the day, your agency or your firm will probably grow by one, about 10%. 100 go in, one will come out. 100 can go in and 10 come out, 1,000 go in, 100 go out, but the math always seems to work to be between countries and companies and agencies that I've researched, it always seems to be about the same. And again, the industry traditionally seems to be comfortable with that number. And as long as we put enough recruits at the beginning, we're going to yield growth at the end. We are going to grow the right size. But I'm sure you guys are all thinking the same question that I was thinking as I was doing this research. What in the world is happening inside of that house that we are OK with 90% loss in any given year? to yield such a small number. It's an important number, but it's a small number. And traditionally, over many, many years, what I've seen is that we are comfortable with that number. 